Hello everybody, and a very warm welcome to LMT YouTube channel. Meghan, Duchess of Sussex and Prince Harry's days as senior royals have come to an end. Now that makes it is final, the couple can finally live the quiet, peaceful, and most importantly, private life that they have been looking forward to for months on end. Although they don't wish to be working royals anymore, we know that Meghan and Prince Harry will still maintain their close relationship with Queen Elizabeth. After all, family is family. And it seems Prince Harry and his grandmother have a bond that is absolutely unbreakable. Over the past few months, there have been countless questions and a great deal of speculation regarding what will happen once Mexit is final. Here are still things that are left unanswered, and naturally, only time will tell how everything will pan out. Although Prince Harry is stepping out of the role that we have loved seeing him in for so long, he still has a strong devotion to the British monarchy. Even so, fans are wondering one important thing. Prince Harry may have reinforced his loyalty to the UK and the Queen, but can he truly deliver? The news of Mexit shocked the world. For quite some time, we have known that Meghan and Prince Harry were not exactly happy with royal life. Although Prince Harry has spent his entire life in the spotlight, it seems that he never got used to the lack of privacy. For Meghan, the massive attention that she received after marrying into the royal family was extremely overwhelming. Add in the extensive criticism that the couple was constantly dealing with from the media, and the entire situation was almost unbearable. It wasn't long ago that Meghan and Prince Harry did an in-depth interview in which she stated how unfair she found royal life to be. Even so, no one was ready for the news that the Duke and Duchess would be stepping down from their roles as senior royals and moving away from England so that they could live a life out of the glaring spotlight. Meghan and Prince Harry's Farewell Tour March 31, 2020 will be here before we know it, and that marks Meghan and Prince Harry's last days as senior working members of the royal family. They recently arrived back in the United Kingdom for their farewell tour, and while we are happy for them, we are also pretty sad to see them go. The Sussexes' farewell tour has actually been a bit emotional. So, what did their tour include? Well, the Duke and Duchess carried out their final duties, including attending the Endeavour Awards and the Mountbatten Festival of Music at Royal Albert Hall. They wrapped up the tour when they attended the Queen's Commonwealth Day at Westminster Abbey, where Meghan turned quite a few heads in an absolutely stunning green outfit that was perfect for one of her last engagements as a working royal. Prince Harry reinforced his loyalty to the United Kingdom and the Queen, but can he truly deliver? Mexit is pretty much almost final, and naturally, we heard a pretty emotional statement from Prince Harry, in which he stated how proud he and Meghan were to serve both the Queen and the United Kingdom. Meghan and I are so happy to be back here with you, he said during a speech. Being able to serve Queen and country is something we all are rightly proud of, and it never leaves us. Once served, always serving, he added. According to LMT Channel, there was a round of applause as he spoke. Prince Harry firmly showed his pride to have served the nation and the Queen, and to continue serving the nation and the Queen. Yet some people are wondering if he can actually deliver in regards to what he is saying. After all, Prince Harry is leaving behind his royal duties and his nation. Fans are convinced Prince Harry absolutely can. Although the Duke of Sussex will be in Canada most of the time, and won't be fully serving his country, his actions will speak for themselves. He and Meghan will still be devoted to their charity and humanitarian work, and that alone is enough to reinforce the loyalty that they have always had for Queen Elizabeth and the country as a whole. With their new projects and humanitarian efforts, he can continue growing the Queen's legacy. Another report Prince Harry and Meghan will bring baby Archie, 
to visit the Queen at her estate in Balmoral this summer. Archie Mountbatten Windsor, who will turn one in May, will holiday at the monarch's Scottish retreat in what could be his first UK trip, since his parents stepped back as senior royals in January. However, it is unclear in what month the Sussexes will visit Balmoral. Archie could join his parents at the Trooping of the Colour in June as well. The young family are also expected to spend time with Prince Charles and his wife Camilla at the Prince of Wales retreat on the estate. Summer Plans The Queen was reportedly left very sad when baby Archie remained in Canada last week with a nanny and Meghan's pal Jessica Mulroney while his parents spent time back in Britain. Last September, Harry and Meghan turned down the monarch's moral invitation, leaving the 93-year-old disappointed. The couple felt four-month-old Archie was too young for the trip. In January, the Sussexes announced their intention to quit the UK and start a new financially dependent life in Canada. Earlier this month, it was reported that the Queen is heartbroken after her great-grandson moved abroad. The 93-year-old is said to have revealed her worst fear is not seeing Archie again, worrying they won't have a relationship as he grows up away from the royal family. The Queen would love to have a relationship with Archie, but it's looking unlikely that will ever happen. The source also claimed Prince William and Kate Middleton are also upset to not have a close relationship with their nephew. The source added that while the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge respect and Harry and Meghan have a lot on their plate, they feel family should come first. Archie is seventh in line to the throne, but has not spent any meaningful time with his grandparents or cousins, according to the Royal Insider. It was so many months of talks after so many years of challenges. And I know I haven't always gotten it right, but as far as this goes, there really was no other option. In other news, Meghan Markle and Prince Harry plan to open a new charity office at former BBC building in London, which is now a workspace for creative thinkers run by Soho House. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle are said to be eyeing up the new charity office in a former BBC building. Despite them starting a new life in the US and Canada, the couple have allegedly been on the lookout for a new UK base when they leave their Buckingham Palace offices at the end of the month. They are said to have chosen a space at the former BBC Television Centre in White City, where ITV now films some of its programmes. The area in particular is run by co-working space Soho Works, a venture started up by Soho House, the hotel and private members club. The operation advertises itself as a workspace for creative thinkers, with a global community made up of Soho House members and people from creative industries who work and collaborate together in spaces that are designed to inspire. One of the couple's close friends, Marcus Anderson of Peterborough, Ontario, is a consultant for the elite club brand Soho House and is said to have introduced Meghan and Harry. Marcus is so close to the former actress that she refers to him as uncle to her beloved dogs. Travelist, Harry's sustainable travel group, already operates out of offices in the old BBC building. The offices seem like a perfect choice for the couple given their well-known links to the chain. It would give them the privacy to do their charitable work, but also a space with a bit of buzz. They would be able to get in and out anyone noticing, with three exits and a drop-off point. It's a no-brainer for them to put their charity there. Although the family has moved to Canada, they still fully intend to maintain charitable here and felt it was vital to find a home for a new office in London. The Secure Centre, which has card access only doorways as well as a large apartment-style loft with a separate library lounge, meeting rooms and reception room for private functions also features podcast recording equipment so there you have it that's all the news on megan and prince harry situation today as always thanks for listening 
Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and press that notification bell if you want to be notified of future videos. Thank you. Don't stop.